Hi, it's Dwyer. It is May 27th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, it's amazing here. I think um, the folks online understand what I'm talking about here. You find out things that aren't obvious in the public, and you find them out early. For some reason, there is a buzz, and it surprises me. With the upcoming fight between Derek Chisora and Joe Joyce, right? a number of people have left messages in the comment section saying, hey, when are you going to announce this fight? When are you going to pick a side in this fight? And I'm surprised. Right, I'm shocked. I'm not sure the powers that be understand that this fight is a buzzworthy fight. Now, let me just say, I think Joe Joyce wins it, and I'm worried about Derek Chisora's health. Let's talk about why. Let's look at a few aspects. One man's opinion, right? Joe Joyce has great stamina. He did well in the later rounds against Daniel Dubois and Joe Parker, right? Both guys. By contrast, Derek Chisora at age 40 is really only a six-round fighter. This actually goes back a few years, right? I thought Derek Chisora looked good early against David Hay, then he got knocked out. I have not seen the Derek Chisora fight since then, where Chisora has a lot of stamina in the second half of the fight. Understand, this fight is scheduled, according to BoxRec.com, to go 12 rounds. I believe Joe can wait out Derek and then take over the second half of the fight. Let's also remember, Chisora's 40. And he's had 47 fights. Let that sink in for a moment. 47 fights. Joe Joyce, believe it or not, is the younger man in this fight. He's 38. And he's had 18 fights. Less than half of the fights that Derek Chisora has had. If either guy has wear on the tire, I would argue that it's Derek Chisora. Now, I know many people here are going to respond by saying, hey, Joe Joyce got blown out by Xili Zhang, right? I need for folks to understand here that Zhang is a southpaw. Joyce was acutely bothered, particularly in the first fight, by Zhang straight left. Chisora is right-handed. He's not a southpaw. He doesn't have Zhang straight left. He can't capitalize on what Zhang capitalized on. Let's also point out something that should be obvious here. Zhang hits harder than Derek Chisora. Zhang famously knocked down Philippe Ergovic. He knocked down Joe Parker twice. And that's a recent fight. Chisora has not won a fight by stoppage since 2019. Right? Think about that. Now, don't get me wrong. He knocked down Joe Parker early in their first fight. Derek can come up and can surprise you. But I can tell you that Zhili Zhang got a stoppage against Joe Joyce. Right? A stoppage. Derek Chisora hasn't gotten a stoppage recently. Understand, Zhang has knocked down people in fights where he hasn't gotten a stoppage. You heard me mention Philippe Bergevic. There's also Jerry Forrest. There's also Joe Parker, who I mentioned. Derek doesn't have that record of knocking guys down. Zhili Zhang hits harder than Derek. I think it's a mistake to look at the Zhili Zhang, Joe Joyce fights, and to feel that Joe's slowing down and that Derek can do what Zhili Zhang did. 
Let's also remember, too, Xili Zhang is the only guy to beat Joe Joyce professionally. Let me uh, say this, too. It's true. Joe does not move as well as Derek Chisora. Right? Chisora actually has pretty good legs. He can move around the ring. But let's keep in mind that Joe won't have to go find Derek Chisora. Right? Chisora has foot speed, but Chisora is not on his back foot moving away from you. Chisora is the opponent who enters the ring and wants to find you wants to bum rush you, wants to surprise you. That's going to negate any foot speed advantage that he has, right? Joe Joyce knows that Derek Chisora is going to be right in front of him. Just like all of us know that Derek Chisora is going to be right in front of him. A pocket is going to form. Let me also point out, too, that Derek, at 40, in my opinion, has the hand speed advantage. I'll agree with that. But the juggernaut will be able to force a very front foot heavy Derek Chisora to avoid his jab. Joe Joyce has one of the best jabs in the heavyweight division. Don't sleep on it. Now, we didn't see it against Zhang again because Zhang is a southpaw. Zhang knows how to play angles, and Zhang was able to knock that jab down without paying it much attention. Derek Chisora won't be able to. Rajili Zhang is more skilled. Forget the power. Just the skill level is underrated. Right, Gili Jang did things that, let's say, Daniel Dubois didn't come close to doing. Right, Daniel Dubois gets hit in the eye enough times where Dubois himself thought it was time to pull the plug. Right, Gili Jang, by contrast, is knocking down the jab. I don't believe Derek Chisora is going to be able to knock down Joe Joyce's jab. That jab allows Joe Joyce to set a lot else up. Right, keep in mind. Joseph Parker had problems with Joe Joyce's jab. And this is a guy who was able to outmaneuver Deontay Wilder. Right? So I think Joe Joyce's jab against a front foot heavy, Derek Chisora, is going to be one of the major factors that gives Joe Joyce a pronounced edge. Right? Let me also say this too. While Derek Chisora does have the hand speed advantage, Let's not pretend that he's Andy Ruiz. Right? Derek has decent hand speed. He does not have elite hand speed. Let me make one last point, too. You know, Chisora does take a lot of punishment. But I'll concede, when he's not fighting Tyson Fury, he can take a punch. He went the distance with Alexander Usyk. And understand, let's throw our opinions out the window here. Chisora was so competitive that two judges, two, had that fight scored 115-113 for Usyk. Right, folks, that's one of the best fights that Usyk has had in Usyk's entire career. Right? I would argue that, you know, apart from the Tyson Fury fight, which was a split decision, Derek Chisora gave Usyk his toughest match at heavyweight. Right? I understand someone's going to point out the scoring in the Joshua rematch. I don't know what fight those judges were watching. Right? I thought Usyk won the rematch just like he won the first fight. Right? Daniel Dubois had a clear chance at Alexander Usyk. Apparently, when the heavyweight champ gets up off the canvas, that's not enough.
for Daniel Dubois to throw caution to the wind and to think that this is his career opportunity, even if the champ has been resting for five minutes. Right? As I said in an earlier video, there are a lot of fighters who would throw caution to the wind and who would say, hey, I fought long and hard to get this opportunity. Right? World champ in front of me. I feel my punch was legit. Dubois did not take advantage of it. Other than that brief moment where Dubois drops Alexander Usyk, Usyk dominated that fight. Right? He never dominates the Derek Chisora fight. He does better than Chisora the second half of the fight. But it's never target practice. It's never like it was against Daniel Dubois. So I'll concede, Chisora can give you inspired matches. But here's what I want people to think about. And I'll also even concede that Usyk's somewhat straight left hand is underbraided. Certainly, it dropped Tony Bellew, and in a near repeat, he badly hurts Tyson Fury in almost the same spot in the ring. Right? Somehow Usyk gets these guys up against the ropes and then is able to land that somewhat straight left. Of course, Usyk goes on to drop Tyson Fury later in the round. Right? Usyk can punch. But I'm not sure if Usyk punches as hard as Joe Joyce. Right? I, I need for people to revisit the end of the Joe Parker fight. You know, Parker gets dropped by Zhili Zhang, but he's never as hurt as he looked in that Joe Joyce fight. Right? I think Joyce is a guy who hits hard and against a pocket-centric Derek Chisora. Joyce is going to land his fair share of straight right hands. I'm also concerned by the Tyson Fury fight. Because, let's face it, the referee should have stopped that fight earlier. Right? Derek is a guy who is too courageous for his own good. Right? To sum it all up, I like Joe Joy simply to win. I'm usually hesitant to take bets above a minus 300, but I am here. Because I consider the minus 320 to be a bargain. Understand what this line means. They're telling you that if these guys fought 4.2 times, Joe Joyce would win 3.2 of the 4.2. I think that's right. I think the juggernaut made a mistake fighting a power-punching southpaw in Zhili Zhang. I'm not saying Joe didn't get badly hurt, right? The first fight, there's a moment there where Joe looks like he's about to go down. That fight officially stops based on the swelling on Joe's eye. The second fight, Joe does go down. Fortunately, that fight was not allowed to continue. Right? So Joe didn't get as battered as he could have been had he continued on in that fight. Right? Joe Joyce against a southpaw, a skilled southpaw, one with a punch, I'll agree. He's going to have problems. But here against a older righty who is going to come after him and try to surprise him, I think Joe's going to be okay. Especially since Derek has had great stretches in fights, but has not been able to drop an opponent. And let's remember, Joe Parker, the first fight, that's a close fight. Parker starts about as badly as he can, right? Parker's on the canvas. Parker looks dazed and confused. Parker dominates the second half of that fight, doesn't he? In the rematch, Parker makes it clear that a fighter can make adjustments and can get by Derek Chisora, right? I believe that Joe Joyce can benefit looking at that Parker film. I don't believe Derek Chisora can benefit by looking at the Joyce Shili Zhang film. I like Joe Joyce here at a minus 320. He is the favorite. I believe he's the favorite for a reason to beat Derek Chisora. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section.
of this YouTube video.